Okay, hello and welcome. We're going to be continuing with Age of Empires HD mod tonight. Let's just that in the title. There we go. Okay, last time. Uh, last time I believe we were we had just uh, played the mission of Caesar invading Gaul. No, invading Britain. That's it. He'd come from Gaul and he'd invaded Britain. After failing it at once. Yes, that's also. Yes. So we'd finished Britain and we're up to Elysia. Which. I think I can imagine how this, uh. Map. How this, uh, mission will. Or scenario will take form. Because the Battle of Elysia. I'm pretty sure I remember how that goes. Anyway. Let's continue. Uh, Alicia, 52 BC. Gaul has riven in revolt. You have isolated the great Gallic leader Vercingetorix with only a portion of his forces and driven him into the hilltop fortress at Alicia. He is surrounded, but another great Gallic army is gathering outside your fortifications to free him. Kill the great Gallic leader while avoiding the destruction of your army by the forces inside and outside your fortifications. Kill the Gallic leader versus Getrix. If Caesar dies, the mission will be lost. Yes. Right. Uh, history. Nearly all of Gaul rose in revolt. Beginning in 54 BC, the Gauls realized that they had been conquered by force they, uh, they outnumbered 20 to 1. In central Gaul, versus Getrix, the ablest of the Gallic leaders, ablest of the Gallic leaders, gathered a huge army. He conducted a skilled campaign and had Caesar retreating with his legions. During the retreat, Caesar seized the initiative, as was his wont, and drove Vercingetorix into the hill fortress of Alicia, building a double fortified enclosure to keep Vercingetorix in and the Gallic relief forces out. Caesar fought a masterful battle. The Gallic leader surrendered to save his people from further disaster and was strangled eventually in Rome. The Gallic Rebellion was quickly extinguished and Gaul went on to remain a keen part of the Roman Empire for the next 500 years. Okay, uh, complete your fortress as quickly as possible. Avoid a multi-front siege from the enemy at all costs. So I suppose we should focus our efforts into one location. Okay, let's start. Uh, and I'll slow it down so that we can have a time to have a look around. This heavy cavalry here is Caesar, I believe. And we've got four legions with him. An improved bowman. And we have these walls. Right, yes. Uh, so Vercingetorix is in the middle here. In the middle of our fortifications here. And we're surrounded by enemies all over the place. So I don't know whether we should uh, actually construct these walls or focus just entirely on attacking him. I've slowed the speed down. And we can't actually because there's a bridge, there's a river there. Uh, and there's. Interesting, there's uh, gazelles in the walls there to stop them from bouncing away. There's some berries there as well. And there's a lot of these dead bushes around here. Are they supposed to be like representative of them having cut down the trees? Or are they supposed to be like stakes or something? Can we place one there? This one there. Uh, so. Okay. There's actually no one here. And I've probably got to restart this just so that I can finish my look and. Oh, maybe not. Let's see how we go. So you continue down. I don't know how aggressive the AI is going to be. They've been quite aggressive in past... past missions. Uh, I'm going to need more villagers. So we've got a bunch of improved bowmen. I don't know what their fortifications in the centre are like. Build... a storage pit. Go on, get that. Okay, start cutting down these trees. I feel like we're going to need a lot of 
Oh, we're going to need resources quickly. Go there. I've got a lot of towers. Oh, what factions are we up against? Who have they decided to use to depict the Gauls? We're Roman, and red and yellow are Assyrian. Vercingetorix is Greek, and orange is Assyrian as well. Okay. Uh, there you are. Glory. I'm going to send you up here. There's a bit more of that wall we could build. There's no gaps there. Oh, oh. There's some of the troops from inside the walls. Yeah, we can't build across the river there. Uh. We have got a lot of stone and gold in here, though. Can I? No, I can't. We can't build over this, can we? No. It's just a near thing. They're mining in there. They're setting up their economy. Uh, you go there. Oh, we're under attack. Build a tower here. And I'm probably going to want to build a... Another... War pit up there. Alright, storage pit up there to collect that ore. I think it's in our interest to finish this as quickly as possible. Alright. Short. Build that there. And you two. There. Go there. Go there. You go there. Oh, hello. Okay, let's speed it up. We're actually going to need more food. Uh, good thing we've got all these gazelle here. And these berries. So we'll get the berries first. There we go. Right. <clears throat> I'm guessing they have a bunch of towers in there. They're attacking from... Oh, they're attacking over there. Well, we can kill some archers. Okay. Get some berries. Oh, they got a catapult. Well, you dealt with that. Okay, so we're being attacked down here the most. Uh, get another 10 food, please. There we go. Okay, and we can build... We start in the Iron Age. Let's build an academy. Okay. And 
And one of you, actually, hop off that. Two of you hop off that. And go up here and start collecting some gold. Our gold is only to kill Vercingetorix, and I, since he's brown, his must be like, maybe a single unit? No, they actually lost some points, so. Up there now. Mining gold. I think they don't have archers. Actually, I gotta get all of you down here. There seems to be no real attacks up here. So, I'm gonna move all of my archers down this way. Oh, there's some attacks. They killed someone. Vengeance. Okay. Get that. Get him there. Come on, you two. Get some hoplites. They should help us against whatever may be in there. I'd also like to get a siege workshop. Yeah, we really shouldn't be hanging around on this battle for too long. Get like two stone throwers and then I'll probably attack. Not enough gold. Oh, we'll get one stone thrower and then I'll get another one when we have enough gold. Can you attack those villagers? Can. Just harass them. Okay, good. And there we go. Right, we're gonna have to break down our own wall here. Not a problem. Uh, okay. March through. Are they going to have priests? I will destroy another section of wall. There's some... There's some, uh... Houses. And we're going to have to be careful of Versa Getrex. He will be a hero, which means he'll be quite 
powerful. Move you in. Thrower, no, catapult. This person gets a race. He's a heavy horse archer. Okay, that's actually quite a bit of stuff. <laughs> we could actually like move in and take the uh, central location. Doesn't seem to be too heavily. He says as he loses units to uh, a catapult. Okay. Three. That is a lot of cavalry. He's just pretty good, but he's not fan he's not invincible. better than I thought. We're taking a lot of damage from people around the outside. Uh, move in. I am going to build stables. And I want another stone thrower. We did lose all of our archers there. I could have done that a bit better. So versus Getorix is like here. Hey, don't stop that. Single minded. Okay, and yeah, they're getting rid of all of my capability to build things. No. Mm. Oh no, that's Hero versus Getorix. He's a, uh... Heavy horse. He's a cavalry. Normal cavalry unit. Okay, so... Yep, yep. Well, I've lost my steam, I think. Uh, and they're being attacked over there. They're, we're being attacked over there. Okay. I am going to... I think I'm going to reload this. Restart. And we'll do this again, but faster. And we don't need so much stone. So... You get that, you get that. We're going to build these walls here. Just as we did last time. Uh, there we go. And there. Just fill in these gaps because they were attacking for that angle.
Transformers. Okay. You two go over here, collect those berries. And I want you to go up here and start collecting this gold. Uh, you fill in that gap. And we'll just do the same thing here as we did before. Like that. Okay. And... You build there. You build like that. And just place that like that there. Okay. Now. You... You go up and collect that gold. You two start collecting those berries. And uh just no, I'm gonna put you two on the berries. You lot go over here. And get berries. Sure. Can you harass them? You were before. And yeah, you can. Just sort of yeah, sitting there. Okay, you, and you, and you, come down here. Maybe getting a ballista will help as well. Two villages. So, we were up primarily against cavalry. Cavalry... Top lights are a good answer for cavalry. There's also the... Heavy catapults, which having some cavalry of our own will be good against. So I'll do that. Other than just using Caesar, and I don't really want to send him off, you know, potentially get shot by a catapult. Uh, so get that, get a siege workshop. Maybe it'd be good to just get chariots. Hmm. Get some. Build an academy when you have enough wood. Go over here to fight them off. Can we get a catapult of our own? The area of effect would be nice against their units, though, at the same time, you know, area of effect works both ways. Upgrade to catapults. Uh, 
Yeah. They also give increased range, so... Go there. Back then. Oh, they realise that they can actually just go through. Okay. Uh, get the academy. Attacking down there. Well, throw them off. And what can we get if we build a government center? Not enough wood. Okay. Build some hoplites. How much do we need for a government centre? 148. And there we go. Right, get some catapults when we have enough wood. Gotten all that. So go on to wood. down here and okay uh now i'm going to want yep one of you want to have enough wood of course i thought you'd place your gold up there Okay, and we can get engineering here, which would be useful. Uh, sure. Not enough wood. One! One wood off! Come on! Ugh. Could we upgrade to Phalanx? I think that would be a waste. We don't need them to be that tough. We can maybe build two more. Hey, you could actually you could build a farm. And ballistics would cost 250. Uh, no. Spill farms here. <laughs> yeah, I saw you move. I thought saw you thinking about that. Oh, my God. 
They can actually attack them through the gap. Well, through. Because the distance in this corner is small enough, they can actually uh, push through there and attack. Okay, we'll see if we can draw some of them towards us. Just, I don't know. Wander around over here. Mm. Repair that tower. Get another catapult. We need another house. Nope, oh, he sees us. Okay, and you. I would like a scout. Do we have enough food for that? Sure. Get that. Get this. And cut down this tree. Gives us 75 more wood. Uh oh. Well, uh, we can build another tower, that's not really a problem. Come on, a bunch of you move aside. And let this move up here. Place another one there. Okay, I was still kind of awaiting that uh, cavalry charge they had. I think they're all up in the center. Uh, finish that. Get those trees. Get another catapult. We need more wood. Okay, we've got the scout. Not that we really need it because we've got the artillery, and that gives us a great field of view. Of you over here. Hey, <laughs> do that. Okay, that's also where their catapult was. Now. Go over here. That's probably going to cause them to charge. Yeah. 
Maybe. Yeah, it seems so. Okay. <laughs> Where are you, catapult? So that you can, like, squish all of my, uh, archers. Uh oh, no you don't. Damn it, Caesar. <laughs> Who knew you were so eager to die? Tell you to go. Okay. Okay. That's some of their catapults dealt with. Caesar is still alive. I'm feeling pretty good about it. As I said, I don't think Brown can actually build. I hope so. there. How are we going elsewhere? Let me slow down. Ah, uh, they yeah, are, it's attacking, but they're not very smart, so they're having trouble with my wall. Okay. Try and deal with these heavy horse archers. If we break through this wall, they'll probably just attack us. Maybe? Yep. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay, we got rid of those. Where is he? There he is! Go get him! He's weaker, th he he's stronger than uh, Caesar, so don't get Caesar to attack him. And... Aha! Victory. Ah, pardon me. With the defeat of Vercingetorix and the Gauls, you have brought to a close about almost nine years of constant fighting. Nearly 800 towns have been taken, in which later, in what later will become France and Switzerland. The very name Caesar will become synonymous with leadership. Such success is not without price, however. Jealous of your power and celebrity, and concerned about the size of your army, enemies are gathering in Rome. With all of Western Europe at your feet, it is time to return home. 
Okay, next is Caesar versus Pompey. Hmm. Let's continue. Uh, Caesar versus Pompey, 48 BC. You were locked in a struggle with Pompey, the very successful consul from the east to be ruler of Rome. Pompey has fled to Greece, where he has gathered great support. Having solidified your control in Rome and neutralized other Pompeian forces, you march to Greece to finish Pompey. The two armies meet near a small city of Pharsalus to, de to decide who will become the true ruler of Rome. Destroy the forces of Pompey, and if Caesar dies, the mission will be lost. Okay, history. Following the death of Crassus, Pompey and Caesar were left as rivals for the control of Rome. Both had supporters in the army and senate. It was understood that one man would become dictator and that the Republic would cease to exist. Pompey had himself illegally appointed as sole consul and attempted to strip Caesar of power. Caesar crossed the Rubicon River at the head of his troops in defiance of the Senate to contest this grab of power. Pompey fled to Greece with the part of the Senate that favoured him. The remainder of the Senate made Caesar dictator, the virtual monarch of Rome. I think it was something that they that they announced whenever war was whenever war was apparent. Anyway, uh, after consolidating control of Italy and dealing with the allies of Pompey, leading rebellion in Iberia, Caesar followed Pompey to Greece to decide their fates. Caesar defeated Pompey at Pharsalus in Greece in 48 BC. The provinces in Greece and Asia, previously allied with Pompey, switched allegiance to Caesar. Egypt and Pontus submitted in by 47 BC, North Africa by 46 BC, and Spain by 45 BC, after all military action. On March 15th, 44 BC, Caesar was assassinated in the Senate by conspirators that included Democrats, alarmed by the end of the Republic, former allies of Pompey, and disgruntled friends of Caesar himself. Because supplies are extremely limited at the initial base camp, exploration is key. Avoid provoking the enemy as long as possible to give you more time to establish your defence. Concentrate on Pompey. Pharsalus will submit once Pompey is defeated. I, is Pompey? I don't think Pompey is a hero, is he? Destroy the forces of Pompey, so we have to destroy an army. Uh, I didn't remember. We, we have to destroy a faction. I didn't remember a uh, hero Pompey. So. Okay, here's our forces Caesar. Some long swordsmen, not legions, hoplites, four villagers, a scout, and two stone throwers. And I suppose that's where we have to go to? Let's have a look around here. There's Afranius, Pompey, and me. Mm, and we're up against all Romans. It's half expecting Pompey to be Greece since we're apparently fighting in Greece. Uh, what's this landmass here look like? There's some gold. Mm. Over here, uh, oh. okay, there's red just over there. Mm, forests. Well, we've got a lot of wood. Okay, so I suppose build my town center right here. Uh, yep. Yeah, just build it there. If need be, we can place another one later on. We are in the Iron Age from the get go. And something I've noticed the expansion. Episode, uh, the expansion scenarios have you starting in the Iron Age and much less of the aging up system. Hugo, I don't know. I half want to make use of you. Since we would have to limit her usage of you until we have a priest to heal Caesar. I'm a bit skittish of actually using him in battle too much but he would be a very big asset 
to uh, hold off early enemy attacks. stone there and there's a lot of gazelles there too there's also that road or that river crossing okay and get that yeah, there's a bunch of lions guarding some gold more lions guarding some stone. <laughs> lions are naturally attracted to stone and gold, don't you know? Okay, so there's a big base of walls there. What? Oh. Is the lion going to end up killing all the gazelles? <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know how often they do that. get I don't know build a market what's our research looking like get some more villages Okay, so we start in the Iron Age, but I don't think we have any Iron Age research. I think that's how things have generally gone in the past. And get another villager. You can go over here and get some gold. I would like to get Coin Age first, but we're going to have to get at least 100 gold before I do that. And you get that. And one more food. Come on. Why do we keep ending up on like nine? <laughs> oh, we need another house. Uh, I mean, it's not like these have odd numbers. 150. I think it's just small percentages not shown by how much they carry. It's like, I think... If they get one food, or if they get one of a res- It's like if- sometimes they can get a very small amount of resource, but it doesn't actually show that they have any. But they can still offload it. See, like, he's got- he's got one wood there, but he's not actually carrying any wood. So I suppose he's carrying- not quite one wood. Not enough food. And we need 200. Okay, you two. Go on to berries. I really want to get this, just so that it'll make our uh, gold collection a bit better. Pop off the gold for the moment, actually. Go up there. Red kill. 
Actually, you need to go over there and explore. And... Okay. Get coinage. Oh, oh. I thought you were being attacked by something important. It was an alligator. It did one damage to you. Oh, there's a dock. There's Pompeii's. Okay. So they're just across the river here? So we just have to focus our efforts on Pompeii, which is up here, apparently. We don't really have to attack Red down there. Get that, and that. Get two more villagers. You two can build some more houses. There. We could place a building on top of this oak tree here, because it's one of the uh, straggler trees or freestanding trees. Not like in a forest like this. But it gives more f wood. This gives 75, where it's easy one to give 40. So, yeah, it's a nest. It Maybe a bit of a waste to just place a building on top of it and delete it. Yeah. Doesn't matter too much. Some more over there. Yeah, it's not like we're hurting for wood. Okay, how are you going? Oh, I'm gonna have to navigate you all the way back down here, am I? He gets lost. <sighs> Come on. You're gonna have to go past that alligator. Again. Just poke it. It only gives a hundred food. What's over here? Long swordsman. Towers. And a hoplite. Okay, okay. Another alligator. I did see that. Alligators popping up out of the... River. Uh, okay, get that. I'm gonna want some towers. Maybe. Put some towers here or something to guard our uh, thingy. <laughs> yes, our thingy. Okay, get that stone. We'll upgrade to long swordsman where we have enough food. Build. Um. Yeah, build an academy. Oh, hello. Yeah, you did good. Okay, we should build an archery range. Also. That is a few too many people. I didn't mean to collect you, select you all. Okay, just all place your food off. Oop, 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 they've got a, uh... Catapult. Go on to st gold. Can you all place your food? Okay. You. You. Go villagers! Attack it! For the good of this town! There we go. No. There we go. Uh, right. 
I am going to want some cavalry. Get a stables. Build a stables there. And you're going to have to build some houses. Oh. Hello. No! Leave us alone! You didn't move when you had the chance, did you? Ha ha! Okay, build a tower. You, I want you to build a temple. you're going to build a siege workshop afterwards. Get a priest. You move up here. Get craftsmanship. You finished getting all that stone. Well done. So, if they have anything, I can get it as well. Uh, that does mean we don't have any particular strength over them. going to have to attack them soon. They're getting too full of themselves. Uh. Get another priest. farm, you build another farm, and you build a farm there. You go there. Chariots. Well, if you insist on attacking that, I suppose I can't stop you. Oh, 
I'll get it. Okay. Priests, come down here. Also need some more cavalry. Uh, yeah, we're going to need fanaticism for anything greater there. So get fanaticism. Get the catapult. Also, a bunch of you are just sitting around. Build a government center. Hmm. Excuse me? No, don't build that there. Just sit around here for the moment. Well done. <laughs> Thank you for assisting me in that. Ah. We need more gold. Okay. They got phalanxes now. Hold on. Go there. You go down here. I'm going to send one of you over here to deal with these lions. We could convert them. Assaulted by a lion and a uh, long swordsman, he was powerless before the forces of raid before him. He will be remembered, perhaps. Oh, that's a Lion King. Was that just looking at the normal lions? That's a lion. That's a lion. That's a lion. It's more like it. Okay. Build that there on the top of the lion corpses. Him. And 
point we should be able to put an end to, uh, unless they have far more base down here, which is likely. Well done, that lad. Uh... Have one. Get that. You th actually, you three build a tower here. Maybe two towers. That way, we'll be able to uh, defend against any and all oncomers. I was panicking for a moment. I was like. I've, 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 I've looked away. What's Caesar up to? This is like the missions in, like, StarCraft where you get heroes. And it's like, okay, sure, it kind of makes sense that you could play using the hero. But in the end, it's kind of just easier to leave the hero in your base. That way at least they don't ran- they, they, there's less chance of them randomly dying. Uh. Oh, hello! It's yellow! They've come to join in the defense or something. Oh. Aha! Yeah, they're all selecting, but this guy isn't selecting. Oh, weird. mysteries. We move in. Carefully. There's a tower over there. No! God damn. Catapults. It's just like the best option is just to let the AI go for it. Rather than trying to like direct what they do 100% of the time. can kill, destroy these academies here. Be able to well, put a stop to them creating phalanxes. You sit there. And this is when he gets attacked by a catapult and because he was told to stand ground he won't move. going to need some more cavalry. We've done damage to them though. Ready on. Ready on. 
Heal him. Get that. Okay, I want a granary. Ah! My catapults, so brief. Get it! Caesar! Your time has come. Okay. We lost our catapults. But we can make them again. Get that. Farm. Build another farm. You build a farm there. And you build that farm there. You build a farm there. You build a farm there. You build a farm there. You not build a storage pit here. Since it's as close as you can get there. It's so hilly. Get some chariots. Chariots are pretty fast. And they're cheaper than the uh, cavalry units. Okay. Oh. Ugh, that is pretty disgusting looking. Siege workshop be. Welcome. Darwin. Welcome to the Roman Legion. Well done. I'm moving my units to block them so that uh, my priests have a bit more time to try and divert them. Okay. Your vision is not great. Oh 
get some more scouts. Get engineering. Uh, we can ignore the towers for the moment. Uh, get that. We need more houses. We do. I see that ballista down there. Go get it. Oh, you saw. Uh. Ooh, that was a fast convert. Well done. We lost one catapult. Ah yes, I do remember the Roman Legion being filled up with chariots. Oh, 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 oh. I'm betting that means that their siege workshop is down here somewhere. There it is. There they are. Okay. We're gonna need more catapults. And another priest. Phalanx. And some long swordsman, why not? Nice! Retreating for the moment. Again, but now that we've located their, uh, oh. the problem of cutting out all of their academy buildings, and that it means that they just focus on building artillery. Move down. Get some more chariots. Uh, get cavalry armor, sure. Chainmail. Uh, I'm missing anything? Nope. Oh. oh, do we have another priest? We do. That's our priest. So, I'm going to want you to attack these 
right now, and once you've figures, figured out that argument you were having with the phalanx. Uh oh. This isn't good. Uh, just more catapults on the list. I like at least that they stop trying to run when you pull when you get them immediately, because they're just like, well, I'm here now, so there's not much I can do about it. Okay, go and destroy those. Put an end to our misery at the hands of Ballista and everything else. Moving around that way and around this way, I suppose. Still a guy who's not healed. Doesn't don't want to leave him out. Sad. And there we go. Get that. Papadakis. Uh, yeah, we could get Iron Shield. Build another storage pit. And start destroying these towers. And turn the right way. Or not. I want you two to build uh, another storage pit up here because it's closer. Get chainmail for the archers. Get metallurgy. Do we have anything in the government center we can get? Yeah, ballistics. deal with that tower too. Start cutting down these trees. Ooh, get tower shield also. Again, just another extra point of um, armor piercing. Pierce armor. The other way around. There, and there. Go attack that tower. Chariot! There was a phalanx. Hey! And your farm. Get aristocracy. Kill Caesar. Oh, hello.
I think they will have another uh, siege workshop anywhere. Oh, hello. You managed to get past us somehow. somehow. Come on. Thank you. down here. Get two phalanx. Let's deal with those. my barracks. We need more gold. We've used up all the gold down there and we don't have any more around. You're doing fine. What's over here? There's some gold. More towers. There's a river. There's a docks. You don't like scabs, do you, AI? Mm. Okay. No. I prefer you to convert the phalanx. Didn't even notice you were being attacked. Well, we sort of rescued you anyway. You've just been doing work up here, haven't you? I 
it's a good thing they weren't building priests. Oh, that would have been even more annoying to deal with. That worked them up. Uh, him. Give him. Caesar continues cutting down innocent villagers. As he was famous for doing. Okay, and I think we're pretty much dealt with them over here. Might as well convert him. Or take like your last villager as well. Uh, okay, move over there. Continue demolishing these houses. These two are going to have attacked this tower. There's some stone there too. Okay, well done, lads. Uh... So, I don't think they've got anything else here. There might be something over there. Scout, go over there and have a look. Uh, nope. Oh, there's just a mess of wood. And stone. You too. Uh, where's their gold, which was here? There it is. That's not uh, where I clicked, but sure, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Actually, no. <laughs> I want it there. Okay, you got all that stone. This is where you demolish the walls and build your own walls exactly as they were for the enemies. To simulate taking over their entire base. Uh, since you can't convert walls. At least I don't think you can. No. No, you can't convert walls. Uh... As well, collect that gold there. Move up here. You two can move down here as well. And we have to cross this river to get a yellow who will be up there. They did send some troops to attack us while we were attacking red. Okay, you built a, uh, a thingy right there, did you? If you wish. Caesar, go deal with it. Because you're fastest and you have a high damage, high attack value. I don't think you could pass through there. These uh, stones here would actually prevent ships from navigating through there. Okay, long swordsmen, towers. Yeah. 
So this is a faction we actually have to defeat. Wow. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of towers there. I suppose I expected you to just hop across there with transports. Uh, do I want to keep their docks around? Maybe. You missed someone. Go. Mm. I'm going to get you to build a dock over here. And we will use their dock to generate some gold from. Villagers, attack this fishing ship. <laughs> well done. Anything over here? No. Build a tower. Okay. Build another tower. And you two can start trading. Hmm. Gonna have to wait a while for actual resources now. Yeah, they're still generating a bit. I don't think it's 20, I think it's 7. Let's see, 5. goes from 5 to 12. Yep, 7. It's just saying there, 7 out of 20. Though it still says that they're carrying 20 gold on their ships. It goes up to 20. But we only get seven. Hmm. Oh yes, you'll see the convert the the uh, ones which we converted have it upgraded to centurions. Hmm. 
Nervous. Erectus. Okay, keep going. Oh boy. Look at that. It's my favorite thing. Okay. Am I going to want to move my forces all the way across here? Yep. If we do it now, get it over and done with. I'm going to leave Caesar over here. I wonder what we'll find in this forest if we cut all the way through it. Probably nothing. Okay, let the siege begin. That's that's the wrong thing to be attacking, maybe. Good, we distracted him. Green the catapult. There we go. Lauren, Holmes, Redkit. Uh. Okay. You see, they're repairing the walls so. there. Didn't even get a shot off. Oh, there's another one. Well. We can just move along this wall attacking all these towers.
we'll deal with this tower. And then we'll move back down here and deal with the other one. On the corner. Uh. Oh yeah, something you might notice on the minimap. Uh, it might be a bit small to make out. Is, uh... I believe the dark green for the forests remains on the minimap. Even after you've uh, cut those trees down. No. It bugged me a bit because it makes you think that there's forests where there isn't any. Okay. Go deal with that tower. There we go. building a storage pit there. I suppose we'll continue attacking these other towers along here. You could all... Um, I don't know. Yeah, you can go and have a look and see what it's like in there. Okay. Oh, hello. The, the big guns are moving down. Thankfully, they're single mindedly focused on my catapult, I suppose. We go. In. You lot can also move in, because once we're past the wall, I'm going to want to construct some recruitment buildings in here, just so that we don't have to keep going through this narrow passage, which I can, I could destroy or make a hole in the wall here. I could... Ah! 
That is a lot of catapults. Thankfully, once again, they're focused on mine. What's up here? Well, over here is more death. And the thing of, in the form of something chucking large boulders at us. And get a siege workshop. Is he a legion? No, he's just a long swordsman. Get two ballista. Build a tower. And build another one there. Do I want to get Alipolis? Not sure. We've got more than enough resources. Oh, jeez! Caesar! Caesar is in peril! Stop! Moving around so much, Caesar! I thought they'd be moving down here. There we go. <laughs> Our rear flank is protected once more. And we've got Helipolis. Go and attack that tower. Oh! 
It's like the worst choice of what to do against enemy catapults and all that. Get to heal. A town center here. Build a tower. Yeah, just keep moving forward, I suppose. If we can find their siege workshop, that will make things much easier. This is why it's a problem of cheating, che cheating against the AI, because <laughs> you put it on instant build, it becomes just this ca um, catapults and ballista everywhere, and ugh, dealing with that is a major pain. There is some more gold down there. You had a chance to move, you chose not to, and you paid for that with your life. Okay. Go up here, get that thing, two of you. Okay. 
Yes! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. Just... Catapults. Right, uh, we need another staples. Go for it. Oh, oh but uh, what the heck was that? Long shot of the year. Right on top of my priest, which it just spawned. Hello, welcome. We're trading shots with Trebuchet. Catapults. Trebuchet. There's a difference, damn it. Trebuchet would have to one pack before they can fire. I mean, eventually they'll run out of gold and wood. There we go. Stop. Let your cells be healed. Where were you going? <laughs> they must have two, uh, three of those. Siege workshops in particular. Hey, chariots are actually pretty good against long swordsmen. I suppose they're cavalry. Right. Siege. 
Siege Workshop. Where are you? Well, there's towers. There it is. Oh, get up there. No! We're expensive! There we go. No problem, worst case, I'll just have to wait for the volcano to do its job. <laughs> what year was that in? Might be a few years after this event. The events here take place. Are we in Pompeii? Oh, well, we're attacking Pompeii. <laughs> Go deal with that. And move up. Build another catapult. I think I've run out of gold. Hopefully. Oh, hold on. There's a ballista. Move up. And you all move up. Except you and Caesar. And Catapult can move to there. I had to look that up. If I skinned everything, it was in 79 AD. Hmm. What time period does this take place in? I think it's still BC. Yeah, 48 BC. So not for at least, like, a good number of years. Not too long. If we built a wonder, we would be able to... Uh, <laughs> we would be able to have the volcano occur, because those you win with a thousand years passing. Two thousand years passing. Okay, I think we're pretty much dealt with them. I'm going to speed up time. And... Loads on catapults. <laughs> oh, 200 years, whatever. Yeah, it's nothing compared to 2,000 years for building a wonder. Don't have enough gold. My plans! Foiled. Keep destroying these towers. Give me some work, Paul. Bam! So we have to wipe out Pompeii. We can't just destroy their town center. That one. 
what you can do. Build a tower here. Why not? Well, the catapult's ready. Someone who's injured. Right down there. Hello. There was a catapult down here. And there. And him. Is there anything in this corner? Oh. I think the last thing is their docks. Let's see, all the towers are destroyed, yes. Yep. We don't have to destroy red. That's gonna take forever. Even on high speed. So I just get the catapults there. Well, they did a fair bit of damage, I suppose. There we go. Yay, victory! Your decisive victory over Pompeii solidifies your position as ruler of Rome. The entire Senate is forced to confirm you. You are remembered as the greatest of the Romans. Future emperors of Rome, Russia, and Germany will be called Caesar, Tsar, and Kaiser after you. Ah. What's that he called? Julius Augustus? Or Augustus Julius? Caesar was always a title in Rome, wasn't it? I'm confused. I might look that up. Uh, yeah. Oh, and that's the only, that's the last mission in um, Ave Caesar. I thought there would be six, but there's only four. I'm kind of surprised at that. They sort of jumped from because uh, it's like Caesar versus the pirates, which was like early Julius stuff. You know, getting revenge on pirates who captured him when he was younger. And then it jumps the whole British, uh, the whole Gaulish campaign, and goes to assaulting Britain. And then it goes to Elysia. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, that is Ave Caesar. Next is Pax Romana, which is uh, I think that's actually the last campaign of uh, the expansion. And after that, we'll be done with Age of Empires. Hmm, this has been going on for a while. I think this is like. Episode 26 or something like that? That's not the longest series I've done. I think, uh... Dungeon Keeper 1 takes that still. But anyway. 
So yeah, but that will have to be for next time, Actium. Um, <laughs> uh, before I do my outro, I'm still confuzzled over that. So I am going to have a look at Wikipedia. Let's see what it has to say. Is my high school history. Leading me wrong, or am I forgetting it completely? Uh, Gaius Julius Caesar. Okay. No, it was actually his name? Okay. I had things the wrong way then. I thought he was... Eh, whatever. They are correct. Well, that's good to know. Oh, his cognomen was subsequently adopted as a synonym for emperor. The title Caesar was used throughout the Roman Empire. Though I think it was Kaiser. Anyway, given rise to modern... Yep. Cognates as such as Kaiser and Tsar. He has frequently appeared in literature and artistic works, and his political philosophy, known as Caesarium, inspired politicism polit politicians into the modern area. Caesarism. Caesarism, not Caesarius. <laughs> There's an important distinction there. Okay, so they are they are correct on that. That's good to know. It, Age of Empires is still pretty good for at least getting a, you know, first l l first introduction to history, as it was for me. And it encouraged me to read books on the subject in school, in primary school. <laughs> Can't remember if there was many available. Eh, yeah, well, it did inspire me to do some of my projects based on, like, Roman weapons and so on. Anyway... That will be it on Age of Empires Rise of Rome for tonight. I thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you'll join me for the next one. I will stop the recording here.